trade. We exchange stuff because we want what the other person's got. We've been doing this since we were cavemen, probably even before then. The ancient Britons used to trade with the Romans long before Britain was part of the Roman Empire. Cornish tin miners would set up great piles of tin on the shore, and the Roman galleys would row in, look at the tin, leave a pile of goodies next to it, and then go out to sea. And the Brits would come along and say, hmm, not enough goodies, and so they'd take some of the tin away. And eventually a deal was reached, the trade was done, and both sides got richer. Trade was going on long before there were even nations. One of the big fallacies of, of wealth and development is called the zero-sum game fallacy. And that is the supposition that wealth is like some kind of giant pie, you know, a fixed amount of it. So if you grab a larger slice of it, someone's going to have to make do with less. <coughs> Wrong answer. What actually happens is that wealth is created by trade. You, you don't get rich by taking it from someone else. One of the problems we have in the world today is how to help poorer countries become richer. Uh, we, a few nations, became richer, and now uh, we'd like other countries to do the same. Well, foreign aid, say the experts. Increase our aid budget, getting it up to, ooh, 0 0.07 of 1%. No one's going to get rich on that. This is not how we became rich. It's not how any country ever became rich. It's done by trade, not by aid. I, I thought of writing a book on this, on how to encourage development. But, I, you know, I, I could sum it up in a chapter. Indeed, I got it down to a page, and then a paragraph. In fact, there's only three words. Buy their stuff. That is the whole answer. Buy their stuff and they become richer in the same way that we did. This is how Hong Kong got rich. The average citizen of Hong Kong is now richer than the average citizen of the UK. But it's also how Singapore became richer, it's how Taiwan got wealthy, it's how South Korea and dozens more countries, they all did it the same way. Oh, Europe talks piously of, of upping its development budget. Meanwhile, of course, with its tariffs and its subsidies, it's, it does the one thing guaranteed to prevent poorer countries getting richer, giving them the chance to sell their stuff. So the moral of the story, if we want the world to become richer, and particularly the poorer countries to become richer, we buy their stuff. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.